From the Mars Colonial Transporter to Starship, the brainchild of Elon Musk had a pretty long developmental history. This video will address the key developments happened from 2007 to 2020 for this ambitious rocket. So, let's dive into rocket science. Everything started in 2007 when Musk stated a personal goal of enabling human exploration and settlement of Mars. The launch vehicle was initially mentioned in public discussions by the SpaceX CEO Elon Musk in 2012, known as Mars Colonial Transporter. Also, SpaceX began development of its Raptor rocket engine in the same year. In February 2014, the principal payload for the Mars Colonial Transporter was announced to be a large interplanetary spacecraft capable of carrying up to 100 tons of passengers and cargo to Mars. In his September 2016 announcement, Musk noted that the name Mars Colonial Transporter would not continue as the system would be able to go well beyond Mars. And a new name, Interplanetary Transport System, was selected. Later in 2017, ITS was renamed into BFR or Big Falcon Rocket. Both were a two-stage rockets with many key design changes. Standing at 122 meters, the ITS was the tallest and most powerful rocket ever produced, while BFR was redesigned to 106 meters. ITS was 12 meters in diameter, which shrinks to 9 meters in BFR. Next, let's talk about the number of engines on the vehicle. The BFR had 31 Raptor engines versus 42 in ITS. The new BFR has an impressive 48 mega newtons of thrust at liftoff, which is way down compared to ITS, which claimed 128 mega newtons of thrust. Lastly, payload capacity to low Earth orbit. The BFR can put 150 tons into orbit compared the ITS, which could do 300 tons. In engineering, changes brings better technologies. On November 2018, one year after the announcement of BFR in 2017, SpaceX came up with a new redesigned concept for the BFR by naming Starship for its upper stage and Super Heavy for its booster stage. Musk pointed out that the booster stage was needed to escape Earth's deep gravity well, but not needed for other planets or moons. The key design features of this design includes increasing the total height from previous 106 meters to 120 meters. Using 31 Raptor engines for Super Heavy and 6 Raptor engines, with 3 optimized for sea level and 3 optimized for vacuum, for Starship. Subcooled methane and oxygen became the fuel and the oxidizer powering the mission. Methane, which can be easily manufactured on Mars by using carbon dioxide from Martian atmosphere, became the right choice for fuel. In January 2019, Musk announced that the Starship would no longer be constructed out of carbon fiber. Instead, SpaceX will use stainless steel to build the Starship. Musk cited several reasons, including cost, strength, and ease of production, to justify making the switch. SpaceX immediately started the construction of prototypes. By late May 2019, the first prototype, Starhopper, was preparing for untethered flight tests in Boca Chica, South Texas. While, two orbital prototypes were also under construction. The two ships were constructed by competing teams that were required to share progress, insights, and build techniques with the other team, but neither team is required to use the other team's techniques. In July 2019, the Starhopper made its initial flight test, a hop of around 20 meters altitude, and a second and final hop in August, reaching an altitude of around 150 meters. The successful test of Starhopper accelerated the production of Starship orbital prototypes. SpaceX completed the external structure of the Starship Mark I in time for Musk's public update on September 2019. But, on 20th November 2019, the Mark I test article came apart in a tank pressure test in Texas. The same day, SpaceX stated that they would stop developing Mark I and Mark II and move on to work on the Mark III and Mark IV articles. A few weeks later, the work on the vehicles in Florida paused, and Starship development work started focusing on the Texas site. 
In December 2019, Musk announced that the Starship Mark III versions would be redesignated into Starship Serial No. 1, and there would be minor design improvements from Starship Serial No. 1 to 20. SpaceX began construction of the internal components for the vehicle in December 2019 and started stacking Serial No. 1 at Boca Chica two months later. Serial No. 1 failed a cryogenic pressurization test on 28 February 2020 due to a design failure in the lower tank thrust structure. After the incident, SpaceX announced that they were focusing their efforts on the next test article, Starship Serial No. 2, and conducted a successful test of Serial No. 2 tank structure on 8 March 2020. Later, Starship Serial No. 3 was planned to be used for static fire tests and short hops, while Serial No. 4 for longer flights. Starship Serial No. 3 was destroyed during testing on 3 April 2020. The cause of the failure was a testing configuration error. A valve was inadvertently commanded to open, resulting in pressure loss and structural failure of the lower portion of the prototype, and it crumbled under the weight of the heavy methane tanks. The next prototype, Serial No. 4, passed cryogenic pressure testing on 26 April 2020. But, it was destroyed on 29 May 2020, after a successful static fire test of its single Raptor engine, due to a failure with the ground support equipments. Currently, Serial No. 5 and Serial No. 6 are undergoing construction. The future of Starship tests include a 20 km test flight of Starship Serial No. 5 and the first orbital test flight before the end of 2020. Musk declared in June 2020 that the Starship is the top SpaceX priority. So, let's wait and see what SpaceX and Elon Musk can do in future to make human a multiplanetary species. I have deliberately skipped the technical details of Starship in this video because it requires making an entire dedicated video on that topic. So, don't forget to subscribe the channel to learn the engineering aspects of Starship from our future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.